should have been on her husband, Tugwell Hinton. No. Well, don't tell me I've interrupted another tourist making a pass at you, ladies. I wondered what Hinton's arrest might do to her. And that was the night Beeler picked to get chummy. Beeler, the second suspect. Uh, just a minute, Mr. Rigby. We know who you are. Well, that's great. Who am I? I've often wondered. You could be a guy who collects $10,000 just to leave this stinking town. That's when I knew they meant business. And then Carwood turned up. I'm catching that plane. I'm going to walk out of this room. You won't shoot. You don't operate that way. I'll, uh... Send you a little bottle of something later tonight. Uh, it's harmless, but a few drops of it in a drink and uh, Rigby's mind will be off everything. For long enough, anyhow. Uh, maybe you won't have to use it. It's just in case your big brown eyes don't work. What's the matter? Honor bug biting you? Don't like to think you took a dame away from a dying guy, is that it? Which way was it with her? Was it the way I wanted it to be, with her on the level? Or was she just trying to play it smart? I wondered. Rigby. Yeah? Kiss me. I could wait it out, stall until it was too late. Nobody would know. Sure, I can make it look good. Could a sellout ever look good? Mm -hmm. 